when it comes to talk about health inequalities, for me that is very, very closely linked to the health of my NHS trust. So I make no apologies for talking about Isle of Wight healthcare in relation to health inequalities, and I do so within the uh, framework of unavoidably small hospitals programme, which uh, I think is potentially a very interesting move by this government. Uh, I discussed this with the Health Minister, the, our honourable friend, the member for Charnwood, as well as the Secretary of State, uh, last week. And the background to that is as follows. There are 12 national hospitals which qualify, Madam Deputy Speaker, as unavoidably small hospitals, USHs in the jargon. Uh, and the economics of unavoidably small hospitals um, has an impact on health care, especially in a place like the Isle of Wight, which has 100 per cent remoteness factor because we are separated by sea. And because of the dis diseconomies of scale over a wide range of health issues, that affects the ability to deliver health care to the same standard as the mainland. This is part of the wider issue that I'm looking at for an Isle of Wight, um, an Isle of Wight deal. We reckon that the additional cost of providing health care on the island for the same services as the, at the same standard as the mainland is about £12 million. And just because of shortage of time, I won't go further into those details, but I've talked to the Secretary of State and indeed to the Right Honourable Member for Charnwood about that. What do I intend to do about this? I'm going to try to secure debates on the Unavoidably Small Hospitals programme in the hope that the 20 or so members, most from this side of the House, one from the other side of the House, will join in support of that debate so that we can ensure that we, um, uh, that we ministers can understand the additional pressures on unavoidably small hospitals. I'm also going to make the case of Sir Simon Stevens for looking at increased revenue for unavoidably small hospitals, especially the island, which has a 100 per cent remoteness factor. We will, however, continue to, to drive efficiency on the island, and Maggie Oldham, our chief executive, and our leadership team are looking at that by linking up with Portsmouth District General Hospital, by linking in with Solent um, NHS Mental Health Trust, and by doing other good things so that we are as efficient as possible in our use of public money. What I would very much like from this government is a recognition uh, that um, there is an additional cost for unavoidably small hospitals because of diseconomies of scale. And that, translates, and that should then therefore translate into something in terms of revenue. And additionally, when it comes to helping islanders get patient treatment on the mainland, there are additional costs as well there for patient travel. And I'll leave it there. Thank you.